Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now uh, I will be presenting about our project which is Coffee Maker Machine System. And my name is Muhammad Zulhimi bin Zulkifli, TB18124. My partner is Muhammad Iqwan bin Muhammad Zulhazmi, TB18037. And Ibrahim bin Rosli, TB18128. First of all, before I start with my presentation, I will be presenting about project background, uh, problem description, design detail, and the implementation of the component use. So for the for the project background, at first lecturer has briefed some information for the project. We had been asked to file our project title and system design starting from a block diagram up to the circuit diagram and video simulation to picture the whole system. In the beginning, we designed the circuit on a Proteus software and demonstrate the system by simulating it using the software. Research and design criteria developed based on the product design required. Next, block diagram establish a step-by-step -step design procedure in conjunction with the timeline given. Upon approval of the design criteria and design procedure valued by the lecturer, we can then proceed with the development of the design and coding. Other than that, we develop a conceptual design and identify commercial parts and components that be used for the product development. The information and data sheets for these parts and components are collected from a variety of sources. So we are using visual aids for the vi video presentation recording to explain more detail about our project. So next is problem description. Uh, the first part is block diagram. Based on the block diagram above, the system started with the name of the coffee maker, Terra Cafe, appeared on the top of LCD display. Then customer selects the type of the coffee drinks, which have eight coffees altogether. Then user needs to select the topping and cup size. There are three types of topping provided, such as whipped cream, drizzles, and crumbles. For cup size, venti will be the smallest cup, followed by grande for the medium size, and tall for the biggest of cup size. Next, the motors run the entire system and coffee made within a couple minutes. Lastly, coffee is ready to be drink by the user. So this is our flowchart system. Next, about design detail, uh, there will be description of the design. Second, reasoning for design selection. And third is circuit diagram to illustrate the design. Then for the implementation of commercial components, uh, we are using four components altogether. First is temperature sensor LM35. Uh, second, Atmega64 as a microcontroller. And third, LCD display LM044L. And fourth DC motor 12 volt. So the reason why we choosing temperature sensor and LM35 is because it, it is because of LM35 can measure from negative 55 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. And also the accuracy level is very high if operated at optimal temperature and humidity levels. Next, at Mega 64 microcontroller is a low power CMOS 8 bit microcontroller based on the AVR and has enhanced RISC architecture. So, next is the reason why we choose to use this type of LCD display is it mainly appear in a big display as it can choose 20 characters in four, four rows. Other than that, you also build in control LSI HD440780 type and only need just uh, 5 volt single power supply to power up the LCD display. And lastly, for DC motor 12 volt, the reason why we choose it is suitable for low speed top and for sure the rotational speed of the motor can be adjusted switch for PWM purposes. 
that's all from my part and i will pass the presentation to ikwan assalamualaikum my name is mama ikwan tb180237 so i like to present about project discussion uh, the circuit condition when they're running and the other appendix is coding so firstly based on this project uh, we need to develop an embedded system project which consists of Atomega 64 and other several more components that we're using Atomega Studio, Atomega Studio to code program for understand the operation of coffee maker machine system. We also use several components which is switch, uh, SPDT MUM as our input, temperature sensor, LM35, LED for the, the output, DC motor, uh, LCD LM044 L for the output display. Uh, first, coffee will be selected by the users. Then, users need to choose the size of the cups and the topping that they want to put in their coffee. One more switch is to select whether the coffee needs to be served in cold drink or hot drink. After that, the user press the start switch for the machine to prepare the coffee. The temperature sensor will read the inside temperature whether it cool or hot drink. The system operation is when temperature sensor measure below 20 degrees, it is cool or when the sensor measure above 80 degrees, it is mean hot drink. After that, the signal will be sent to motor driver and transmit the relative signal to the DC motor. The motor the motor one will rotating forward for the cup size and reversing for the topping option. On on the other hand, motor two will processing whether hot or cool. If the user choose the cold drink, the green LED will be on, and if the hot drink be choosing, the red LED will be on. Lastly, after all after all the procedure are done, the worker will reset the system by pushing the interrupt switch which mean the red and green LED will on simultaneously blinking five times. So as you can see, this is uh, the circuit condition when they are running. So for this figure, the temperature is below 20 degrees and green LED on. So we choose randomly that we choose this latte macchiato. So for the cup size and topping, uh, uh, venti and crumb and cool drink so motor one is processing for the cup size so for the figure three uh, the temperature also below 20 degree and also the green led is on uh, but motor one is processing the topping and motor two processing the cool drink for the figure four the, te the temperature above 18 degrees uh, and the led is red so uh, the motor one is processing for the cup size also and for the figure file uh, same as the above uh, figure the temperature above 18 degree red LED on and the motor one processing the topping motor two processing the hot drink so uh, for the last figure uh, when uh, the user is uh, when the user push the interrupt switch uh, the LED green and red, LED LED green and red is on simultaneously, blind, blink four times. For the conclusion, uh, we can conclude that our project, which is coffee maker machine system, is able to execute the coffee selection, cup size selection, topping selection, and temperature. So we can display the coffee selection of the user on LCD on the first row while we are also able to display the cup size and the topping on the second row of the LCD. If the temperature is above 18 degrees, the LED red will turn on while LED green will turn on if the temperature is below 20 degrees. When the user choose the cup size and topping, the motor 1 will be energized. Uh, motor 2 will be energized if the user choose whether uh, cool, cool or hot drink. When the user activate interrupt switch, the LED blink five times alternately, and all the motor are off. For so, for the suggestion and recommendation for the temperature sensor, recommendation for improvement of our project, we can use a better temperature sensor, which is 
thermocouple sensor. Thermocouple sensor are the most used type of temperature sensor. They use in industrial, automotive, and consumer applications. Thermocouple are self self power. Require no excitation. Excitations can operate over a wide temperature range and have quick response time. So also for the motor driver, we can use L two nine eight N motor driver for upgrade because L293 D driver operate at 5.4 volt 4.5 volt to 36 volt whereas uh, L298 N can be operate up to 46 volt so this is our group interaction uh, the function of each person so as you can see this is our role of each person So for the part of appendix, so this is our microchip system coding. For this project C language for our coding, we start our coding with declaration of input and output. Then we set the parameter for the LCD and motor, which is fast PMW non vetted and temperature setting. We set the temperature setting by using if else decision for drain selection and cup size. We use is if f decision also and lastly for interrupt we use for loop decision so that's all from me so i would like to pass the other present to next person ibrahim okay thank you to my dear friend uh, my name is ibrahim i will present about uh, the circuit and the simulation okay Okay, uh, first, uh, if I choose uh, Americano and uh, for the cup, I will choose the tall and whipped cream for my topping and uh, for the temperature of water, uh, it will detect at by, by uh, LM35 that show the temperature was decreased be, uh, below than uh, 20 degrees Celsius and I choose the cool water and uh, the screen will show the uh, the selection that I have choose and I just press the start okay motor will be show the uh, size cup will be uh, in uh, reverse and topping will be in uh, forward and for the cool uh, it will be show the motor will be uh rotating in the reverse okay for the second uh example if i press start and for the interrupt if i press the interrupt okay these two motor will be stop and led will be bring at uh simultaneously five time and it back to normal after uh, led was bring Okay, this is the our simulation. Uh, thank you, and sorry, go.